space once again good morning guys so this time so we are going to give more examples of linear equations in two variables okay so before we proceed can you like our video and subscribe our youtube channel so here is our table system of linear equations and two variables and then we are going to describe the graph if it is parallel intersecting or coinciding and we are going to give a uh, number of solutions so saka na po natin gagawin itong number of solutions so indicate lang din po natin dito yung perpendicular lines so the graph is perpendicular lines so for example we have x plus y equals 6 and x minus y equals 2 this time po hindi na po natin siya igagrap okay so once again ang ating pong gagawin we are going to identify the slope and the y intercept okay so once again in the first equation we have y is equal to negative x plus 6 okay so what is this slope here the slope is negative y and the y intercept is 6 okay the y intercepts intercept is 6 okay then in the second equation we have negative y is equal to negative x plus 2 and then we multiply both sides by negative y so we have now positive y is equal to positive x minus 2 okay so therefore m is equal to 1 and the y intercept is equal to negative 2 okay so once again siya po ay maglalays 2 sa po siya maglalay so ang ating pong m ay m sub 1 is not equal to m sub 2 otherwise ang ating pong m sub 1 ay which is negative 1 and if we multiply to m sub 2 which is 1 the product is negative 1 so therefore ang ating pong m sub 1 times m sub 2 is equal to negative 1 and that is perpendicular okay so perpendicular siya and then once again that is perpendicular or, or intersecting lines pero mas pabor po siya sa perpendicular lines okay so that the intersection of the two lines uh, create 90 degrees kaya po siya ay perpendicular or right angle okay so yun po yung ating number 1 how about naman po sa number 2 so number 2 we have y is equal to 2x plus 1 and y the second equation is y is equal to x plus 3 so therefore tayo po ang ating uh, slope of the line sa ating first equation ang ating pong m sub 1 ay 2 and then yung ating m sub 2 ay 1 so magkaiba po sila so m sub 1 is not equal to m sub 2 Okay, and then ang ating pong b sub 1 ay equal sa 1. Then ang ating pong b sub 2 ay equal to 3. Okay, so ganito po siya. Okay, so therefore b sub 1 is not equal to b sub 2. So kung ganun po yung ating uh, uh, statement, uh, so therefore siya po ay intersecting 
at kapag siya ay intersecting lines, we have only one solution. Kagaya din po dun sa perpendicular kanina. Yung pong point of intersection, yung point of intersection po ay siya lang solution. There is only one solution po. Okay? So, klaro po tayo dyan. So, once again ha, that we are going to identify the slope and the y-intercept. The slopes are not equal and the y-intercept steps are not equal so therefore they are intersecting lines. So, and we have also one solution. Okay? Another one. So, we have y is equal to negative x plus 5. So, ano, ano po yung ating uh, slope of a line? So, the slope of a line is negative 1. So, m sub 1 is equal to negative 1. Okay? And then, ang ating pong m sub 2 ay negative 1 also. So, therefore, m sub 1 is equal to m sub 2. Ito ba? So, tandaan, m sub 1 is equal to m sub 2. Pareho po sila. Okay? And then, ang ating pong b sub 1 ay positive 5. Then, ang ating pong b sub 2 ay negative 3. Okay? And, uh, b sub 1 ay is not equal to b sub 2. Magkaiba po sila. So, since sila po ay magkaiba, ano po yung ating magiging graph? So, magkaiba po ang ating b sub 2. Magkapareho yung ating m sub 1 at ano. So, they are parallel lines. Very good. So, parallel lines po sila. At kung sila ay parallel lines, so we have no solution wala po kasi siyang magiging point of intersection okay so klaro po tayo doon so madali lang di ba okay so let us proceed to number 4 so sa number 4 we have 2x plus y is equal to negative 1. So, i-rewrite po ulit natin muna siya. Diba? So, we are going to rewrite the equation in the slope intercept form. So, 2x plus y equals negative 1. And then, the second equation is 2x minus y or minus y nga equals 1. Okay. So, yun po siya. Rewrite in the slope intercept form, we have y is equal to negative 2x minus 1. So, therefore, ma-identify na po natin ang slope. The slope is negative 2 and the y intercept is negative 1. So, m sub 1, b sub 1. Then, add the second equation. We have negative y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. And then multiply both sides by negative 1 para pa lang po makancel yung negative uh, coefficient. So we have y is equal to positive 2x minus 1. Okay? So therefore, our m sub 2 is equal to 2 and b sub 2 is equal to negative 1. Okay. Now, kung ito po ay ang ating ano yun, ay m sub 1 and uh, so they are not equal ang m sub 1 and uh, m sub 2. And then b sub 1 is not equal, uh, are equal to b sub 2. Okay. So they are equal. So kung ganun po ang ating sitwasyon na ang mangyayari po natin ay ano po ang mangyayari 
So equal to equal. Ah wait. Oh, so they are not equal. At the same time. So they are not equal. So m sub 1 multiplied by m sub 2. Is that equal to negative 1? So hindi diba? That is negative 4. So they are not negative reciprocal. Okay, so they are not negative reciprocal. So, kung ganyan po siya, yan po ay magiging what? Siya po ay intersecting intersecting lines. At ang point of intersection po nila ay doon sa y-intersect which is Ang point of intersection po ay 0, negative 1. So, there is one solution. Okay? So, there is one solution. Okay? So, once again, hindi po, sila per hindi po siya perpendicular. Kasi po, sa perpendicular, dapat po ay negative reciprocal. Hindi po siya negative reciprocal. Yung kanyang slope of the line. Okay? So, ang point of intersection po ay 0, negative 1. So, therefore, there is only one solution. Okay? Another example. Let's say we have 2x minus y equals 7. Okay? So, 2x minus y equals 7. Then, the second equation is 3x minus y equals 5. Okay? So, once again, isusulat uli natin siya sa slope intercept form. Okay? So, negative y is equal to negative 2x plus 7. Multiply both sides by negative 1. So, para makancel. So, y is equal to 2x minus 7. So, therefore, m sub 1 is equal to 2. And b sub 1 is equal to negative 7. The other equation, we have negative y is equal to negative 3x plus 5. Multiply both sides by negative 1. So, we have to cancel negative coefficient so y is equal to 3x minus 5 okay so m sub 2 is equal to 3 and b sub 2 is equal to negative 5 okay so m sub 1 is not equal to m sub 2 and b sub 1 is not equal to b sub 2 Okay, so if they are not equal, so therefore this is intersecting lines. Okay, so intersecting lines yeah, and we have only one solution. Only one solution, x and y. The coordinates x and y. Okay, so lang po siya kadali. Ano po? So without graphing, we can determine what kind of linear systems do we have okay next we have x plus 3y equals 8 and x minus 3y equals 8 okay so sa unang tingin pa lang ng equation makikita nyo na na maaring pareho yung kanyang uh, B intercept or Y intercept. Okay, so X plus 3Y equals 8 and X minus 3Y equals 8. Okay, so, so rewrite in the Y intercept form or slope intercept form, we have 3Y equals negative X plus 8. Okay, then divide both sides by 3. Okay, so cancel na po yung 3. So, y is equal to negative 1 over 3x 
plus 8 over 3. Okay? So, M sub 1 is equal to negative 1 third. And uh, B sub 1 is equal to 8 over 3. Or, 2 and uh, 2 third. Okay? Then, on the other equation, we have negative 3Y equals negative X plus 8. Divide both sides by negative 3. So, cancel out na po yun. So, y is equal to, so, makakancel na po to, yung negative sign natin. So, 1 over 3x minus 8 over 3. Okay? So, m sub 2 is equal to 1 over 3x, or 1 over 3, or 1 third. Then, b sub 2 is equal to negative 8 over 3, or negative 2 and 2 third. Okay? negative 2 and 2 3. So, therefore, m sub 1 and m sub 2 are not equal. Okay, pareho sila, uh, ito ay negative, ito ay positive. And they are not uh, negative reciprocal. Okay? And uh, b sub 1 and b sub 2 is also not equal. Okay, positive, negative. So, therefore, Ano po ang ating magiging uh, graph of linear equation? Very good. That is intersecting lines. Intersecting lines. Ano po? And there is only one solution. Okay? Intersecting lines or one solution. Okay. So, ganun lang po siya. Madali. Ano po? So, we'll proceed to the next uh, uh, example. Okay, next example. So, we have the last example. X minus 2Y equals 9. And X plus 3Y equals 14. Okay, X minus 2Y equals 9. And X plus 3Y equals 14. Okay? So, once again, we write in the slope intercept form. We have negative 2y equals negative x plus 9. Then, divide both sides by negative 2. So, cancel. So, y is equal to, cancel na rin po siya. Ano po? So, 1 half x minus 9 over 2. Okay? So, therefore, our m sub 1 is 1 half. Then, b sub 1 is negative 9 over 2 or negative 4 and 1 half. Okay? So, klaro tayo doon. And then, 3y is equal to negative x plus 14. Okay? Then, divide both sides by 3. Okay, so cancel out na po yung 3. So, y is equal to negative 1 over 3x or 1 third x plus 14 over 3. Okay, so m sub 2 is equal to negative 1 third. Then, b sub 2 is equal to 14 over 3 or we have 4 and 2 third. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2, 14. So, 4 and 2 third. So, therefore, m, m1, m sub 1 is equal to or not equal to m sub 2. Okay? And then, b sub 1 is not equal to b sub 2. So, since they are not both equal, so that is intersecting. Okay, so intersecting lines po siya. And we have only one solution. The point of intersection, the coordinates, is the solution set. One solution. Okay, so once again, ganun na po siya kadali. So sana po, naunawaan natin yung systems of linear equation. So mas... Uh, Sana po makatulong ito ang aking konting uh, video tutorial para mapadali yung pagsasagot natin ng 
learning class okay